I'm Tess Schultz with Tulip Square, and today I'm going to show you how to make this quilt block. I call it the impossible spiral because it's kind of an optical illusion type of spiral, and it's it's really easy to do and it's fun. This makes a 12 inch finished block. So let's hop over to the sewing machine and I'll show you how easy it is to make. So the first thing we're going to do is take your white square and your darkest square. You're going to sew them together. And now you have that piece. You're going to sew the dark rectangle to the left side and the medium dark rectangle to the right side. Okay. Let's sew that right there. And now you have this piece, and we're going to sew the larger medium dark rectangles to the top and the bottom of that. So, so this one right here and so this one right there. Nice quarter inch seams everywhere as always. And I'm just pressing these towards the outside color. We're, we're going to set that aside just for a second and work on these corners. So we have the medium light and the medium dark. And you're going to want to sew a diagonal line right here. Make sure it's going this way and not this way. So we're going to use that in just a second. And then we're going to take the palest color. I have two of these. One is longer than the other. And each one gets a white square. And the longest one, you're going to sew the diagonal line this way. And on the shorter one, you're going to sew the diagonal line this way. Make sure you do this one on the short one and this way on the long one. Now you can do like I'm doing and follow a line on my sewing machine. And you can find a link to this tape in the description. And there's also another type of quarter inch tape made especially for that. And I'll put a link to that as well. So you can either do that or you can take a ruler and draw a line and then follow that line. It's always helpful to start here as opposed to here because your machine might try to chew up this corner. But if you start here where there's fabric, you'll have better luck. So now, on all three of these pieces, I'm going to trim off the outer triangle, leave a quarter inch seam allowance there. And then I'm just going to press these open. And now we have these. And I don't know why I said press them open, because I pressed them all towards the corners. So we're going to set these two aside for a moment. And then we'll take this one. And we're going to sew this one with the corner to the left side, where the dark rectangle is. I'm going to sew that right along there. And then we're going to sew the next medium light rectangle to the opposite side, right there. And I will press those both to the outside. And now you have that. You're going to sew the last piece of the medium light color, the top right along here. Right, so you have that at the top, and then you're going to sew the shorter of the two light strips with the white corner to the bottom here with the white pointing out. I'm going to press these out. And now you have that, and you're just going to add the final piece to the left side, the white pointing out again. Let's sew that right there. And there is your finished block. And there you have it. There is your impossible spiral quilt block. That was fun and easy, wasn't it? So if you liked this block and this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell if you want to be notified every time we put up the new video. Oh, and don't forget there is a free PDF cutting guide that you can download in the description box and it has all of the sizes of pieces that you need to complete this block.
and check out our website at tulipsquare.com and we will see you next week with a brand new video. Until then, happy sewing! <laughs>